Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris. I have so many videos planned for the next month. It's gonna be a whirlwind of videos. Here in the United States, it is currently Sunday night of Thanksgiving weekend. And I have a lot of videos I want to get done in the month of December. The first one I'm gonna to do tonight, I'm actually planning on several videos. We'll see how this goes seeing that it's 9.30 at night and I just poured myself a glass of wine. This could be really fun or it could end really quickly. Tonight's video is going to be about fragrances that remind me of winter holidays. There are several holidays in the months of November and December and I have a lot of fragrances that remind me of the holiday time. Whether they are fragrances that remind me of baked goods, something that you would eat or drink, or fragrances that just remind me of activities that occur during this time of the year. That is the focus of tonight's video. And with that, I'm just gonna dive right in. So the first fragrance is something I haven't spoken about in over a year and a half. I think it only made one video, but it is a perfume that fits this theme perfectly because it reminds me of something that would be baked over the winter holidays. And I'm not even going to attempt the pronunciation because the pronunciation police are gonna get on me because there's no way I'm going to pronounce this correctly. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna put the name of the fragrance up on the screen like I always do. And for simplistic sake, we're just going to refer to it as O O one. E O O one. I mean, what? It's kind of a silly name for a perfume, but we're just gonna roll with it. Anyways, I bought this perfume. I got a sample of it in some perfume subscription. I can't even tell you which one it was. But anyways, I smelled this and it immediately reminded me of a fragrance I used to have that has subsequently been discontinued. And it's called, um, it was by Givenchy and it's called Organza Indecence. And that perfume was very, very pretty. I don't have it anymore because it's discontinued, but it smells like a delicious baked good. This fragrance is a spicy, resinous, ambery sandalwood vanilla. <laughs> Boy, that was a mouthful. And the spices in here are beautiful baking spices. So I'm sure there's cinnamon, there's nutmeg, there is some sort of, I wanna say it's probably orange peel in the background, some sort of citrus peel. I think it's orange, it's usually orange. Yeah, it's orange peel. And it just smells like something you would be baking, maybe Thanksgiving morning, the day after Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, something like that. Very holiday, very warm. This one is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It kind of reminds me of a glazed donut without the glaze, dusted with cinnamon and nutmeg. So a baked good that's not overly sweet. My only complaint with this one is the longevity is not great. I usually get around four hours. It's on the quiet side, which would probably make it great for some sort of family gathering or something like that. You're not gonna overwhelm those around you. Okay, the next one is another gourmand that reminds me of the cold weather holidays, and it is by M. Mikalef, and this is called Passion from their Secrets of Love collection. I tell you, I'm a big fan of these bottles, and this is the fragrance that made me realize I don't need to be afraid of all ouds, because this is a prominent oud, but the way it is combined with the other notes, it just really reads deliciousness. The reason why this reminds me of the cold weather holidays is because it has spicy orange and cinnamon. And cinnamon and orange always reminds me of wintertime holidays. So this also has that prominent note of oud. It is, it's bordering on smoky, but it's not quite smoky. And it has a nice caramel note that I think just kind of smooths out whatever rough edges that sometimes I pick up in oud fragrances. And the oud is, not smoky and it's not animalic. It's just kind of right where I need my ouds to be. It is, I would call it a beginner oud, a baby oud, an easy to like oud. It's got a little bit of musk and patchouli and this thing has pretty good lasting power. I think if I remember correctly, I would get around six to eight hours and on me, it continues to dry down more sweetly. I think there's a little bit of benzoin. I think there's some resins in here and the caramel comes out long, the longer I wear it. This is my favorite from the Secrets of Love collection by far, and I love to wear it during the winter holidays. Okay, the next one is a fragrance I just talked about in my Gateway Gourmands, and the name of the fragrance is Tea Sandu by Frasai, and the reason why it made this video is because it reminds me of a baked good 
that my mom used to make oftentimes during the holidays, which is Amish friendship bread. It is a sweet bread that has a little bit of spices. So you take that Amish friendship bread, you add a little bit of maybe nutmeg, maybe cinnamon, there's, definite, there's definitely a booziness to this fragrance. I think there's rum. There's also bitter orange or orange rind. And this one has leather. This one has a pretty prominent leather in the dry down, but the leather's really smooth. And it is gourmandy because of the brown sugar and the caramel notes, which brings it into the gourmand zone, but the leather keeps it from being too sweet. So I think for people who don't like their fragrances to smell overwhelmingly like food, this would be a great gourmand fragrance. This also has a slight freshness. Some evergreen note is in here. It is the slightest bit green, and I get that mostly as it starts to dry down, maybe like an hour into the fragrance. A wonderful perfume that completely reminds me of the winter holidays. Okay, the next fragrance up is a fragrance that just reminds me of December because it is a very cinnamon forward fragrance and I'm always scenting the house around the holidays with things that smell like cinnamon, orange, or incense. And it's a longtime favorite of mine. It's called Megalium by Carna Barcelona. I don't think I've talked about this in maybe two years. Maybe two years or maybe I talked about it if I did a winter favorites from last year. But, oh my gosh, this is so nice because I love the notes. I love pepper in a fragrance, so this has a prominent black pepper. I love cinnamon. This is a cinnamon balm. I love incense. There's incense in here, and there's something woody in the dry down, but I definitely pick up like a cedar, some sort of cedar note. So cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper, baking spices, and woody notes just kind of remind me of the colder weather holidays. I just think it's perfectly unisex, but you do need to love cinnamon and incense to enjoy this fragrance like I do. And despite these somewhat strong sounding notes, this is not a powerhouse. I would call this moderate. So it has moderate longevity and is a moderate projector, but I adore this fragrance and nobody talks about it but the reason why i love it so much it has all the notes that i love to wear in the cold weather okay the next fragrance is absolutely the most gourmand fragrance of the bunch this was going to be my scent of the day for thanksgiving but it just wasn't cold enough here we had kind of a warm snap on thanksgiving it was a little bit it was warmer and it was rainy and for me to wear this fragrance it has to be freezing cold because it is sweet and it is a powerhouse and it is rosé all day if you look at the bottle it looks like i haven't used it at all and the reason is is because i spray this one or two times it is so strong and so sweet that if i, if I that if i sprayed more than that i would probably choke myself out and choke others out but this just smells like a baked something you pulled out of the oven on Thanksgiving Day, on Christmas morning, or some other winter holiday. So the notes are right on the bottle. There's apple crisp, plum, there's tonka, brown sugar. I know there's rose in here. I think there's a honeyed rose, and it has this kooky note of stainless steel, which I have talked about in the past. To me, kind of gives it a texture. So you have all these warm notes, like a really piping hot, dark fruit pie that just came out of the oven. And the stainless steel note just gives it a coolness. It kind of balances it. And I'm telling you, if it wasn't for the stainless steel note, this would be a cavity inducer. I do like to wear it every once in a while. It's always usually November, December on a really, really cold day when I feel like wearing a sweet gourmand. And this is one of the sweetest gourmands I own. Okay, I'm gonna do a little change up from the gourmands. The next fragrance is Après by Ellis Brooklyn. And the reason why this made my video is because this smells like a winter vacation. This smells like you are in a freshly or recently built log cabin made of cedar and you are sitting outside and it just snowed. You're just taking in the environment. So there is a super strong cedar note. I get that for sure. There's also juniper and juniper berries. That's pretty strong. There's a whiskey note, which is, so it's a dry, non-sweet booziness. And there is saffron and leather, which brings in some of the more dry elements of the outside. So 
when it's warmer outside and I wear this, I get more of a sensation like you're in the mountains hiking during the summer. And when the weather's cold or if it's particularly rainy, this fragrance somehow transforms into a snow-filled day. Sitting outside on the deck, drinking a whiskey on ice with a sprig of juniper and it just snowed so you're taking this all in it's just really natural it's a green fragrance it's a very fresh fragrance just smells like you are on a vacation you went away for the holidays but to enjoy this you must love the note of cedar because it's pretty much a cedar bomb and I enjoy the note of cedar so I really like this fragrance and it's a nice break from a lot of the heavy gourmands that I tend to wear in November and December. Okay, the next one we all know about, but this fragrance, gosh, I haven't talked about it probably in a year. I only wear it during November, December, and maybe the beginning of January. It just smells like winter holidays to me, and it is Angel Share. This is a very boozy fragrance. So it has cognac, there's cinnamon, there's oak, tonka, and everything together just reminds me of like a naughty apple pie. An apple pie that's infused with cognac. You snuck in the cognac and you made an apple pie. This one continues to get sweet in the dry down. It has praline and vanilla and a little bit of sandalwood. So there's just a little bit of woodiness to kind of anchor this overly gourmand fragrance. It's delicious in the cold weather. It's too sweet for me in the warm weather. And this just reminds me of maybe Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's Eve. I think this was my New Year's Day fragrance last year, but it has to be really cold for me to wear it. There's something light and heavy at the same time. This has a lot of sweet, heavy notes, but when I wear it, it has a lightness to it. It's not completely overpowering, but because it is so sweet, I only wear it during those winter holidays. The next one I was gonna talk about is By the Fireplace. And I only have a little travel spray. I've shown it in other videos and I left it upstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it. But the reason why I think it's a great fragrance for this category or perfumes that work well during the winter holidays because my neighbor, the day after Thanksgiving and the day after Christmas, always has a big neighborhood bonfire. So everybody goes over to his house and roasts marshmallows. And it's just something that's really fun. It is a memory that I associate with the cold weather holidays and by the fireplace completely encapsulates that fun activity. You know, it is a, I kind of refer to it as a watered down or a toned down version of Lune Feline. It's not quite as spicy, it's not quite as strong, but it's still a spicy, woody, nutty vanilla. It smells like you were standing by a fire pit and people around you were most roasting marshmallows with chestnuts. Maybe they made a chestnut marshmallow s'more because that's what it smells like. A very sweet fragrance and perfectly suited for the months of November and December. Okay, speaking of By the Fireplace, if you think By the Fireplace is too sweet, this next fragrance might be the perfect compromise. It is Gayak by M. Mikula. So this, to me, is a beautiful, smoky, woody vanilla with a heavy dose of cloves. So anything that has cloves in it, maybe vanilla cloves and something woody, I just think of winter holidays. This fragrance just has a winter holiday warmth to it and I find it very comforting when it's cold during November, December. I've got a big chunky sweater on, it's cold outside, maybe it's snowing, maybe I don't have to go to work and I'm doing a Netflix marathon under some covers. It's just perfect for this time of the year. I enjoy it because I love all the notes in here. I like cloves in a fragrance and I like a woody vanilla with a little bit of smokiness to it and this is just what that fragrance is. This Perfume has not been discontinued. I do think they have rebottled it on the Emikalef website. It's just in a new packaging, but a fragrance I love to wear during the winter holidays. The next fragrance and I go way, way back. I had this perfume before I started my channel and I just finished my two year anniversary here on YouTube. I adore this perfume and it completely reminds me of the cold weather months. It is called Ombre de Alexandrie by Boucheron. This is a beautiful gourmandy amber. This smells like a cinnamon apple pie, a boozy 
cinnamon apple pie with a little bit of tobacco. Delicious fragrance. The tobacco in here gives it a dryness. It kind of pulls it out of the two sweet zone. When I first got this, I actually had Ombre Narguilé by Hermes. I had that bottle. It was given to me as a gift, and I thought the two were very similar. They're very similar. This one is in a dupe, but this is about a fourth of the price. I think I paid around a hundred dollars for this. No more than $125, and this is well over four ounces, so I still adore it. I think it's delicious, and this was the perfume that my daughter wore when we went, we were leaving for mass, and we had a guest from the Netherlands stay with us for a couple weeks, and he stopped in the foyer and said, it smells like an apple pie. Where Who smells like an apple pie? And it was because my daughter was wearing this fragrance, so I have worn it before and people tell me I smell like an apple pie. It is just a delicious gourmandy amber fragrance that I adore and love to wear this time of the year. Okay, this next one I am obsessed with. I have posted it several times to Instagram and I think it only made one prior video of mine. Uh, I think it was my hidden gems I did at the end of the summer. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's called Kulfi by Leromatica. This smells precisely like Kulfi. If you've ever had Kulfi, which is an Indian dessert, we have a very diverse palette. And even when my kids were little, I'm talking two, three, four years old, we introduced them to all types of food. So they have a they're not picky and they have a very universal palate. They love Indian food and the owner of one of the restaurants we used to go to, we would order a ton of food and he would bring us out a little dessert of kulfi. So it's like an ice cream, it's usually served cold. It's very heavy on the cardamom and spices. So this is really kind of a cardamom bomb. So you have to love cardamom and saffron. This has saffron in it and, a, and kulfi is served with saffron as well if I, believe, if, if I remember correctly. And there's vanilla and it's usually served with nuts Nuts. This does not have any nutty notes, thankfully, because I'm really not into nutty fragrances at the moment. But what this does have is like sandalwood and a coconut note. So to me, this smells like a cardamom donut, a cardamom donut without the glaze. So it is a little bit sweet and maybe it's the coconut in there and the vanilla. It is food-like, but it's not overly sweet. There's something very light and airy about this fragrance. It does not read heavy or thick, so that's why I, every time I wear it, I think of like a cardamom donut, like a cardamom glazed donut without the glaze. Very puffy, very light, very airy, but still very spicy. In fact, my mouth is watering <laughs> thinking about a cardamom donut because that's exactly what this smells like. But this is perfect for this time of the year. I have worn it once in the hot weather. It wasn't bad, but this fragrance is just perfectly suited for these colder months. I love this so much. I'm just so surprised it doesn't get more airtime because it is absolutely scrumptious. Getting towards the end, the next one is a fragrance that just came out. It is called Venom of Love by Navitus Parfums. And the reason that this made my list is because this opening, at least the opening, reminds me of a cherry cordial. This is a boozy cherry cordial. My oldest brother loves cherry cordial. So to this day, I still buy three boxes of cherry cordials wrap them up and send them to him for Christmas. And so anytime I smell a cherry cordial, I always think of Christmas and I always think of my brother. This has, if you love the note of chocolate and cherry, this has an opening to die for. Interesting thing is, is that I've always been a huge gourmand lover. And this year, I haven't been reaching for my gourmand fragrances as much as I have in the past around this time of the year. I've been reaching for, been more into my woody perfumes, woody perfumes and incense -y fragrances. As a gourmand lover, I can still appreciate a well-made gourmand, and this has a very realistic cherry chocolate opening. So the cherry in here is very boozy, it's done very well, and accompanied by a dark chocolate that's sweet and decadent and I get this opening. The chocolate lasts for a couple hours for sure. As this dries down, the cherry fades, the chocolate fades, it, I get just like a peep of rose, like a skosh of rose, and it dries down into a sweet, almondy, vanilla, woody perfume. This fragrance is a powerhouse. This is very strong and very long lasting. And when I spray on a blotter, I can still smell it 24 hours later, a powerhouse. So great performance, great longevity, a deliciously well-made 
chocolate cherry gourmand for gourmand lovers that just reminds me of Christmas. The next one is just, this is Christmas in a bottle. If you could bottle Christmas, it would be this perfume. It is called Calamity Jane and is by the company Outlaw Soaps. I think they started making soaps and then they moved on into body products and fragrances. This is Cologne concentration. I would say that it acts more like a eau de toilette, but the reason why I say this is Christmas in a bottle because this is orange, cinnamon, clove, and whiskey. I think those are the four. Oh yeah, the notes are right on the bottle. But whenever you have cinnamon, orange, and clove, that is just the holidays. That is just Christmas time to me. When I wore this to work last year, because I got it last year at the beginning of December, when I wore it, people would walk in my office and say, it smells like Christmas in here. I mean, every last one, and we all had a good giggle because my friends would sit in there and wait with me till someone else would walk in the door. Of course, the next person would walk in the door and say, oh, it smells like Christmas in here. I mean, this is just Christmas in a bottle. It's beautiful. I still need to get there. They make a lotion, and I think the two together would be absolute deliciousness. The epitome of a cold weather holiday right here, and if you like those type of notes, this is pretty well priced. I wanna say it's 60 or $65. At least that's what it was last year. And I really enjoy supporting these smaller indie houses. So that was it. I don't know how many fragrances that was, but in one way or another, these fragrances to me are just holidays in a bottle. And I love to wear them during this time of year. So guys, thanks again for stopping by. If you have any fragrances that match that theme, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section below. And with that, I will see you on the next one, which will be in about five minutes because I'm going to film another video. <laughs> It's 10.30. Oh, it's gonna be a long night.